four alarm blaze broke out on a hillside just after three in Concord at Ignacio Valley Road and Cowell. Now this is in the Lime Ridge open space and crews now say about 150 acres have been scorched. You can see all of that smoke. It's billowing up into the sky as the flames creep closer to homes. Within the last few minutes, an expanded evacuation has been ordered in the Crystal Ranch neighborhood. Now, the evacuations cover homes along Montecito Drive and now Hidden Crest Court, also Laurel Tree Drive, Crystal Ranch Drive. Crews are doing structure protection near those homes right now. And crews say about 150 acres have been scorched. You can see all of that dark smoke. It's billowing up into the sky as the flames creep closer and closer into the homes. And within the last few minutes, an expanded evacuation order has been ordered in the Crystal Ranch neighborhood. Well, the evacuations cover homes along Montecito Drive as we look down and see uh, that uh, bomber dropping uh, its retardant along uh, what looks like the southern flank of that fire. Uh, we mentioned Hidden Crest Court, Laurel Tree Drive, Crystal Ranch Drive, all those areas uh, being evacu evacuated right now, those streets in the Crystal Ranch uh, subdivision. Uh, this fire got started probably about 90 minutes, almost two hours ago, and in an area that uh, has homes bordering it, but is an open space area, as Juliet mentioned. Um, and uh, you can see it's put up a lot of smoke in the area. Uh, if you're in Concord, Walnut Creek, uh, in uh, Danville or uh, San Ramon or any of the areas, even all the way over in San Francisco, we can see the smoke coming up from this as all this vegetation starts to go. Um, and there's the science of it right there, firefighting. You lay the retardant down, that big red stripe across the southern flank, and that's to keep that fire from getting pushed down over some of that vegetation. But the real tense area right now is this funneling uh, line of fire that is coming in uh, just to that subdivision to the right. Uh, you can see up on the north side, up on the top of your screen to the left, you can see homes there. They got a scare a little bit uh, earlier this afternoon when fire came right up to their back doors. Uh, we also see some fixed wing and some helicopters cruising through. They're dropping water. They're dropping retardant as well as uh, crews on the ground. All right, if you're just joining us now, live chopper pictures now above the Montecito Drive and Crystal Ranch neighborhood. If you're just joining us, we want to tell you about some of the evacuations going on right now. Evacuations cover homes along Montecito Drive, and now we're learning Hidden Crest Court, Laurel Tree Drive, Crystal Ranch Drive. You can see that planes have swooped low. They've dropped fire retardant in the area. Um, and also Highway 680, you can see all of the smoke along that area. In fact, we might have some pictures of what drivers are seeing from that advantage right now. Um, also, there are ranches in that area. I was told by uh, some friends of mine who own horses and livestock that they're clearing that out. And you can see the residential area right there. Obviously, that's one main concern. A lot of people are being told to evacuate. Don't stay because right now the crews just are trying to do what they can to get a handle on this fire and they don't know uh, what's in store. Obviously, we're keeping a watch on the, uh, the winds and just where this fire is moving right now. Um, I believe we're going to go to a live phoner right now. Mike Marchucci, Assistant Fire Chief of CAL FIRE. He's going to be calling in, giving us an update on the conditions and where things are heading right now. But, Ken, as you can see, a lot of vegetation in that area, and that is what's keeping that fire going. Yeah, anybody who's been on Ignacio Valley and driven east, uh, you know, you wind through Concord uh, on, on the left, Walnut Creek, and, and then it heads up into and up over the top uh, and into Clayton. And uh, that's where that fire is burning right now, just to the south of Ignacio Valley. We want to check in with uh, Cal Fire right now. Assistant Fire Chief Mike, uh, is it Marcucci, Mike? It is, Marcucci, you're right. Yeah, uh, tell us about this one. It looks like it's kind of it's stuck in a ravine now, moving to the east. But you have homes on both sides, so it's, it's a little dicey. It is, it is. We are starting to evacuate some of the subdivisions in the Crystal Ranch area, as well as the Montecito area. Uh, we're working with law enforcement to make that happen now. We know how this thing got started, Mike. A anybody know? Uh, we do not. It started right off of Ignacio Valley Road, um, and so we are uh, doing it as we speak. All right, and for our viewers tuning in right now, what information can you give them? Obviously, people in that area are clearing out, but how fast is this, movie go move, uh, this fire moving, and what are some of the concerns we need to tell our viewers? Oh, looks like we may have lost our, our phone hookup oh, with. Think, oh, there I, he is. I think I've got you back. Sorry about that. No problem. Julia hey, was ask asking. That question again. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering um, our, for our viewers tuning in right now, obviously, evacuation's underway, but what do we need to let them know right now about that area and how quickly this fire is moving, Mike? 
Uh, it is moving quickly. Uh, we would like everybody in the area that I mentioned to be prepared to evacuate if they're given the notice. Uh, law enforcement right now is working at the plan to determine which homes will be evacuated and which ones will be put on notice. You know, Mike, it looked like earlier the fire really just skirted some homes right there along Ignatio, and those folks were lucky because it came right up to their back door. It, it did. It did. We had a very quick response from Contra Costa County Fire as well as Cal Fire, uh, which uh, hopefully uh, helped that fire get pushed around there. Give yeah. us a lay of the land because we can see a lot of the vegetation amongst the dry open space as well, but how close is that coming up to the homes in that area? Uh, it is coming close. Uh, the defensible space has been uh, done in a lot of these areas, so that's working for us. Uh, it is grass that's turning into oak woodland that moves into brush as it approaches Mount Diablo. All right, we can see some fixed wing working right now. We saw a rather large jet drop some retardant a while ago. He was flying east to west. Um, is that just, just to keep the fire from advancing to the south there? Correct. We're trying to make a box um, to box in the fire and direct it away from the homes. Um, out into the open space where we can uh, do a little more uh, quick work with our bulldozers to get around it.